guys! I hope everyone is well. Happy Wednesday afternoon. I rarely start the video in the afternoon. But we have big news today because I've decided I'm going to be going back to Mexico as of next Monday. So I'll be going back for, I think it's 16 days in total the 18th of April until the 4th or 5th of May and then I literally get back and then go straight into my business mentorship um, on the Friday which is like the 6th so it's going to be a really busy couple of weeks so there's a couple of reasons I'm going back the main reason I really want to kind of film my whole course um, or as much of it as I can when I'm in Mexico like I feel like it's a really good place to film out there and I booked a very similar apartment to what I booked when I was last there so I kind of know what the filming I guess would be like in that location and there's a little gym in my apartment block which will be really handy obviously when it comes to filming content for the course which is kind of handstand flexibility strength related so that would be really good um the <laughs> i guess big updates when i'm in mexico will be what i'm doing with obviously the kind of prep stage so we won't actually be prepping for competition until about 12 weeks out and that will be i think that as i might have mentioned in my last video the last week of may first week of june so what i'm really going to focus on is, is my training and quality of training over the next couple of weeks in Mexico um, and I will make sure that is very much on point and really try and push as much as I can with the weights. And then in terms of diet, I'll probably be having a fairly similar diet to when I was last at in Mexico and then just a bit more protein so I'll probably get a whey protein powder just so then I make sure especially when I'm training that I have enough protein throughout the day so they're kind of the two key things um obviously I'm only going for 16 days and then I will be back and then I have a couple of weeks before we start prep properly so that will give me a bit more time to get back to the diet that I've kind of just started here um yeah, they're the main updates really. <laughs> Today's been super busy, another super busy day, like at the moment I've got so many things I need to get done. My priority is trying to get the course outline complete before I actually head to Mexico on Monday. My parents' Ruby wedding anniversary on Sunday, and I think it's also Easter Sunday, so we'll be going for, I think, lunch or something, which would be really nice. And then I've just got client things, business things, as always. Um, but I'm very excited now I've finally made the decision because it's one of those things, like, I was really contemplating it just because the environment and the weather really affects how I feel things go for me. <laughs> it sounds really weird, but it honestly does. It has such a big impact on me. And I was so productive, able to kind of get so much done that I wanted to. I was in Mexico last time, so I thought, you know what, let's just do it. Because um, I'm going to be here all summer pretty much prepping. So it'll be my last kind of chance. And Mexico, the reason I'm going back to Mexico is because although I've just had my second vaccine, I still have to wait 14 days before I can fly to most places. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and do my second session, which will be a handstand session. Then we will get back and we've got a client call. Um, and I need to carry on doing the course outline. And probably... On Sunday, I think I'm actually going to have to travel up to Birmingham Airport. I'm flying from Birmingham. <laughs> on Sunday, because on Monday, I don't think I will be able to get there on time. But just because of the kind of like the train situation. Because it's, it's not that early flight, it's like 9.30. But still, I think the earliest train from Oxford is like 5. And I just don't think that's going to be long enough by the time I get there. Um, to check in and things. So, I just look at hotel on Sunday, Sunday evening it will be, I'd film my leg session for you guys, so it will be the full leg session and I'll do like a little voiceover, so I hope you guys enjoy. The first exercise I started with was a cable kickback, this is actually an isolation exercise for the glutes and the main reason for adding this to my current training program is because we really want to focus on growing and shaping the glutes. When performing this exercise, your hip should stay perpendicular to the cable machine. Um, you also want to make sure your torso is facing forwards throughout the whole movement and you don't want to have any kind of rotation going on. As I've mentioned before, it's very important to focus on training intensity when you're doing all exercises and also the training tempo. So for the cable kickbacks, I think my tempo was a 201-2 tempo. 
The next exercise that I moved on to was the adductor machine. This is an exercise I never used to really like doing. Um, I thought it was a bit pointless, but I think as soon as I switched to kind of doing the bodybuilding training, I actually saw a lot more value in doing it. Obviously, when you're doing bodybuilding, you're very much focusing on specific areas that you want to um, build or that you want to shape. And so, obviously, the adductor muscle, the inner thigh muscle, um, is very important to show when you're doing like your back poses and things. And also, if you're, you know, doing everyday things in everyday life, it's a very important muscle group um, or a very important area that you want to develop strength in. So I actually think it is a beneficial exercise now. Again, I'm focusing on a nice slow tempo on these, um, really contracting the muscle groups as I'm bringing the knees in. And I can definitely feel the adductors working in this exercise very well. I think I had to lower <laughs> the weight a little bit because I got to maybe about eight to 10 reps and I need to do 12 to 15 in the set and I couldn't actually push anymore. Most of the exercises in my session today, I was doing one or two warm up sets of and then one main working set and one drop off set. For the adductor machine, I actually did two warm-up sets and then I did two kind of working sets of around 12 to 15 repetitions. So as I mentioned, really focusing on that tempo of the exercise. After the adductor machine, I actually went over to the laying hamstring curl. Um, again, I did three sets of this, so I did one warm-up set and then one kind of heavy working set and one slightly lighter working set. When I do this exercise, I'm really focusing on pushing my hips into the pad um, and almost not lifting the knees off the pad, but trying to kind of like bring the hips into a little bit of extension, um, just because then as I bring the legs into the glutes, or the calves into the hamstrings, I really focus on that contraction. I can feel that very well actually. Um, I wish I filmed it from a different angle. It was a bit difficult because I only had my tripod and my camera, so it was very low, but it would actually be nice if there was kind of more of an overview of what was going on because I really do think you could see my hamstrings working very well. The next exercise I moved on to was meant to be the pendulum squat, but I don't actually have a pendulum squat at that gym. So I moved on to a reverse hack squat instead. With this movement, I was actually making it quite hip dominant, um, just so we could focus a little bit more on glutes and hamstrings. So there wasn't actually much ankle flexion going on in this particular movement. And as you can see, I focus on really contracting the glutes as I get to the top as well. After the hack squat, I moved on to a single leg leg press. Nice and slow with the tempo again. Um, I actually only did two sets of these, so I did a warm-up set and then I did a main working set. With the single leg leg press, I do struggle to go too heavy. Um, for some reason, I mean obviously, <laughs> with a double leg leg press you can go quite a bit heavier. But single leg, I tend to stick to 20 kg on each side, plus whatever the leg press is, maybe like 70 kg or something like that, I can't quite remember. Um, I could actually go a little bit higher with the leg on this exercise, slightly angle the foot and have the leg a little bit wider as well. So I will make sure that I do that in my next session. After the leg press, we come into the last couple of exercises. So I move on to more, I guess, slightly more quad focused exercises. Firstly, the walking lunges. This exercise actually focuses, you know, quads, hamstrings, glutes, pretty much all muscle groups in the legs. And I'm able to go fairly heavy on the walking lunges. So I managed to go to about 18 kg. And I did three sets at 18 kg, so that actually was quite a tough weight towards the end. Um, normally I do 16 kg, but I thought, you know what, I'm feeling strong and I really do want to try and push my training as much as I can, you know, the next eight weeks or so before I start prep. 
just so I try and build as much muscle as I can going into prep. After the walking lunges, I move on to leg extension, obviously a quad focused exercise, focusing on that tempo again. Um, and I did three sets of these exercises. So the first two sets, I did 10 to 12 reps. Um, first set was slightly slower tempo. Second set was slightly faster tempo. The last set I actually did half reps. So I was focusing more on the mid top range of the kind of quad shortening phase. And yeah, that was pretty much it on the leg extension. I actually <laughs> never used to like doing leg extension. They used to always make me feel a little bit queasy. Now I would say it's probably one of my favorite exercises to do. Um, I think when um, always find like areas that I've really focused on a lot um, because they used to be weak and now kind of my favorite areas and that's certainly true of the quads. After the leg extension, I moved on to calf raises actually very pleased with how the calves are looking at the moment um i think they used to you know they they were never massive they're never going to be massive they don't really need to be too big for my categories um but yeah i think they're looking quite good in this exercise so pleased with that and for the calf raise i did three sets of i can't remember what it was i think it was three sets of 12 reps just because I started off with a fairly heavy weight and I really struggled with maintaining that weight and then I dropped down for the last two sets to a slightly lighter weight and that was a bit better but again I'm focusing on that contraction at the top nice and slow with the tempo that was pretty much the session to be honest um, yeah I've just got back from the gym as always and we're gonna carry on with work and then go and train handstands as always later also, I have got a little bit of news to update you guys on. So I was talking to my coach and I may compete in fitness and bikini just because, as I've said about a million times, that I don't think there will be enough fitness competitors to potentially get pro card. So I also much prefer the look of the bikini girls, like that's the look that I want to go for. So I definitely need to get back on posing for bikini because I haven't done that in a long time. Um, and yeah. Why not? I think as an amateur you can still compete in both bikini and fitness, so why not compete in both? So that is kind of exciting news. Um, the only thing I do have to be slightly aware of is, I guess I've got a good amount of muscle mass, but as I get like super lean, obviously I have very good ab de definition, um, and so certain areas might look a little bit sharp. So closer to the time I may have to make that decision as to maybe competing just in one or like focusing just on one and then I could still compete in both so we shall just see but that's the little update I'm gonna have some food um and then we're just gonna carry on with work <laughs> There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Take you back to my youth 
show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best believe The other ring on my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone That's a wrap for another couple of training sessions um, Well, my daily training sessions <laughs> and the updated news of going back to Mexico. I'm extremely excited. The weather's actually not too bad here. It's a little bit overcast. I mean, we're about 5.30 p.m. now. So, you know, it's not too bad for that time. Yeah, it's just a little bit overcast, um, but I'm very much looking forward to getting back into my routine in Mexico. I've actually been a super good routine since being here, and my sleep has been, like, on point. It's never normally good. So I've managed to somehow... I think on my sleep pattern was so well in Mexico, I never really like adjusted to the, to the new time zone. Um, so I've just come straight back into the UK one and it's been fine. Anyway, I'm going to have a meal, a shower and edit this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give us a thumbs up. Enjoy. Bye.